Hey, what's up? What's up, man of blessings TV? What it do? Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. I want to talk to you guys today about that uh, that kid Takashi Six Nine. Yeah, man. This dude is a wild young boy. Wild young boy. I think he's a Hispanic kid. Um, and that rascal done finally got locked up. I think everybody kind of knew it was just a matter of time. If you've been following the kid, you know it was just a matter of time before he got arrested or, or murdered, man. This kid started beefs all around the world. You know what I mean? Um, but, uh, yeah. The boy snitching. I'm just going, let me just put that out there. The boy canceled all his tour dates in the U.S., fired his whole management team a couple days before the police so called bring him down to the station. Well, not the police, the FBI bring him down to the station for protection. And then the very next day, they arrest him when he declined the protection because the people that was so in his gang was going to kill him. So he just he declined the protection. They come and lock him up the next day. Now they done moved him into a separate unit away from the uh, the gang members for his protection. Like, let's be real, man. The boy snitching. He wasn't built for that life that he was portraying. And now he about to snitch. And this this is the problem. This is one of the problems I had with this kid, man, is he be dropping the N-word. And he's not even black. <clears throat> and um, he was asked about that, and he, he didn't see a problem with it because he says it's a part of his culture where he grew up at. Kid ain't got no respect, man. And these dudes that was uh, co-signing them, man, now they all about to feel the wrath of a snitch. You can't co-sign somebody into a lifestyle that they're not truly about. Because when, when times get hard, when, when real life hit, and they ain't built for it, they ain't taking these charges. 6 9 ain't gonna take them charges, man. He gonna, he gonna get a deal, because he about to snitch. To be honest, and you, know, you don't wanna see nobody murdered or nothing, but they should've murked them. When they kidnapped his butt, they let him get away. They knew their time was short then. But then his buddy, he still was hanging with some of the same peoples. It's an unfortunate situation for the young man, though, man, because his career was blowing up. Overnight sensation. Within a year, within a year, man, the kid was setting all type of records. Setting all type of records, man. He, he ain't put out a song that wasn't a hit. Every song this kid put out was a hit. It didn't matter. It was a hit no matter who he was beefing with. It was a hit. Nobody could stop this kid, man. He couldn't even perform in a lot of venues. And this kid was still putting out hits. Bangers. Whether you like his music or you don't. I honestly, I, I ain't never heard none of his songs. Except the, uh, the, the, the one with Nicki Minaj. I heard that. Other than that, I ain't, I ain't never hit none of his songs. But the kid put out bangers, man. If you look at the charts, you look at the numbers, and numbers don't lie. Whole career gonna be gone now. Cause there's no, there's no recovering. You can't be a gangster rapper and a snitch. That ain't gonna happen, man. That ain't gonna happen. So this kid, man, is gone. Career done. Dunsky. Takashi six nine. Charlemagne and the Breakfast Club, they tried to warn him. Try to get him to chill out. His last interview, he came in, man, and, and he did. You knew it was something different. Like he he had he wanted to do interviews with places that he knew was gonna have that reach so that he can uh try to cover his ends, cover himself up for the snitching. He probably been working with the feds probably for, for a month, probably a couple months now. He probably been working with the feds ever since they kidnapped him. He probably been working with the feds, man. Takashi. Working with the feds. 
Now everybody getting locked up. Everything's going down. And um, now his career is over, man. Career over. Ooh. The, the lesson here, the moral of this story is be yourself, man. Be yourself and don't hang with the wrong crowd. Don't hang with the wrong crowd. Like, you can't be claiming you in a gang and then just denounce the gang overnight. Like, that ain't how it worked. That ain't how it worked. Then he was beefing with, like, real-life gangsters. This kid was beefing with gangsters, man. Out in California, out in Texas. Like, you can't, nah, man, you can't do that. You can't do that, man. You ain't play, people trying to ban this kid from venues. People banning this kid from cities, man. People risking it all to try to get hands on this kid. And then he fired the people that was protecting him. That's tough, man. But, um, yeah, don't hang with the wrong crowd. And just be yourself, man. Just be yourself. But I, I want to see how he make it out of this situation. It's the boy facing life. Let's see how he make it out of this situation. But all that could be a front. It could be a front. That can all be fake. Like, if he been working with the feds, giving up information, giving up people, he been working with the feds, that whole 25 to life is a is a front. It's a fake. They just throwing that out there. So he won't seem like a snitch. But real, real, people, real, real street people know. People from the streets know. The boy snitching. You ain't even got to be from the streets to know that the kid out here snitching, man. He's snitching. He's telling. Everybody's going down. If you was ever in that crew, you're going down. Takashi's, you're going down. If you was with the 6 9 with the, with the Treyway, going down, man. All because of Takashi 6 9 mm -hmm.